The stories of operas are sometimes very complicated and sometimes very amusing. This one is simple, direct, and very much to the point. It tells of a very human situation between a man, Orfeo, and his wife, Eurydice. And Eurydice dies. Orfeo goes mad with grief and calls upon the gods for help, and help arrives. The god of love comes down and gives him a liar and tells Orfeo that if he will brave the terrors of the underworld with the help of the liar, with which to make music and tame the anger of the furies, the gods have decided that they'll give him the chance to get his wife back again. But as usual in these cases, there's a catch. There's one condition. That is, that he must not look his wife directly in the face until they get back to the upper world again. Orfeo accepts this condition and makes the journey down to the underworld, braves the furies, and comes into the land of the blessed spirits, where he is reunited with his wife. In the second part of the opera, the story tells of their journey back from this blessed land, upwards to the light of day. Orfeo is the story in one sense of a human being who has lost something or believes himself to be incomplete in some way. And until he has found that part of himself which is important to him, an aspect of his personality, he is not going to function fully as a whole person. And the story of the journey is his search for that. It's the story of our journey as we live our daily lives today. Our search for wholeness, completeness, for fulfillment in whatever way we feel that should come. And because the opera speaks of something so fundamental to everybody, it speaks with tremendous power. Thank you. 